Hey Libra, okay, so these are just your general messages for the week. Um, I have been working on some bonuses, but um, today is Odin's birthday and tomorrow is Leela's birthday, so I probably won't have, you know, much up other than these generals um, for now. Um, and then later in the week, I'll have a lot more going on, okay? So let's just take a look at the energy, guys. Don't come at me if these readings don't look great. I told the same thing, or I said the same thing to Aquarius and Gemini because, like, we are in eclipse season. It's a little bit, mm, you know, uncomfortable. So for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I see somebody doing embroidery. And I'm hearing the song Lovers Rock. Go look at the lyrics, okay? For Libra. Ooh, Libra, fresh start. Fresh start. Something brand new transpiring. I like this so far for Libra. Oh, shit. All right, Libra, if you are involved with somebody, you guys could be, like more involved than usual if you are not you could be meeting somebody and it looks looks passionate anyway i'm seeing um darker skin okay could be a water sign it looks like a water sign sorry that was my son if it's not a water sign it is a beekeeper i don't know why i want to say that I'm seeing a beekeeper guy. Oh my god, that's a stupid thing to say. All right, ignore me. I'm sorry. I'm also seeing peonies would be important as well. Um, okay. Okay, why is the Page of Cups here? This person's going to want to take it slow. I'm just going to let you know right now, okay? It, it, it might be slow like too slow for you or vice versa like maybe you want to go really slow um but but it could it could be a bit of an issue so just keep that in mind okay okay so who's the spire sign because i feel like somebody else could pop up now i'm not saying that this is like another romantic situation, but I see a fire sign here that they seem very like the jealous type, the possessive type. Um, they have a crown on and they're holding out a crown like, no, now you belong to me kind of attitude. Mm. Is that sexy, guys? Do we love that? I don't know. I don't know. If it's your thing, hey. Who is this fire sign? Because it looks like they don't want you to be, yeah. You know, wish fulfillment. And this person wants you bad. Could be somebody you work with, not necessarily. I don't know if you know who this person is yet. This person wants you bad. Huh. Well, Libra, if you are single, not looking, and avoiding people, you best watch out. Libra, sun, moon, and rising. What does Libra need to know? Okay, jumping into something. What are you jumping into? Okay, some of you might be just quickly changing jobs or changing positions or, um, you know, finally starting that business that you've been talking about, you know, something like that, which doesn't look bad. Looks pretty good. I like it. It's saying, though, you are not still taking care of yourself. Libra, I think I've said this to you before. I, do I have to be your mother? Like, I, I really am concerned for the Libras that are not resting or taking enough time for self-care. Continue for Libra. We have lots of options here, Libra. Lots of options. What are these options for Libra? Growth and prosperity. Why are you in the reverse, though?
Okay, it could be one of those things where all right, all right, you have all these options. They do look like work, but they could obviously be pleasure. Um, and it's like, you're like kind of frustrated with these options, if that makes sense. Like they they don't all suck, but you're frustrated. You're kind of like, well, you know, I didn't want so many options in love or I didn't want so many options at, at and in the workplace. Like I just wanted one so that I could focus on it. Okay. I do see a um, car issue. What else? And for some of you, you are going to go visit somebody and you're not able to, could be a family member, doesn't have to be, um, be due to finances, okay? It's, it was just gonna be too costly maybe, or they were coming and it was too costly for them. Yeah. Who is this earth sign? Who's this earth sign for Libra? Somebody that you need to find some stability with. This looks like a coworker, could be, a client could be a uh, um, somebody you do business ugh, could be a business partner even okay you guys need to find some sort of common ground it looks like you do it looks like you do I actually think the other person's gonna figure it out and come to you and be like this is how I think we should work this out which is good um, but just know that if that comes up if it's a business partnership and you guys find this balance, Libra, I'm going to tell you, it looks like you guys are going to be good financially. Like, really. All right. Why is the tower in the reverse for Libra? That's a hesitation. What is that? Oh, geez. Okay. You have some dirt on somebody. And you're like, should I come clean? Should I tell somebody? Should I tell them I know? You know, that kind of thing. And it looks financial. Again, it looks like it's somebody you work with, but it doesn't have to be. For Libra. Why is the world here for Libra? Okay, it feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders right now. Libra, please be taking care of your health, please. I feel like stress is going to cause you health issues. What else does Libra need to know right now? Okay. Some of you feel like you can't walk away from a connection right now, whether that's um, a connection, you know, a financial um, union or whether it's a relationship. Some of you feel like, you know, well, almost like obligated to it. You might be involved in looking at other people, Libra, or, or desiring a better outcome or desiring somebody else while you're with somebody. Or if it's not that, like you, like I said, you have some sort of um, some sort of relationship that looks like you're obligated somehow, all right? So it could be like a business relationship where you're like, oh my gosh, I just can't wait to be done with this and, and work with somebody else, you know, that kind of thing. For Libra, why is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? For Libra, you do, yeah. All right, so you are trying to work something out here with somebody and there's just a stagnancy. You guys are not it looks like a water sign doesn't have to be okay um but it looks like you guys are just there's really no change happening yet okay maybe after the eclipse season you guys will finally be able to like um mend things but it's like you guys aren't even talking it looks like could be a scorpio it doesn't have to be the libra 
Four, why is four of wands here? Somebody's getting like a new appliance. I don't know why I want to tell you this, Libra, but heartbreak is going to lead you to like the best possible thing for you. So whether that's financial or a relationship, <clears throat> you are headed in the right direction, even if it seems uncomfortable, even if you're like right now really struggling emotionally with this, okay? The outcome is beautiful. The outcome is everything you could ever want, okay? Libra. Sun, moon, and rising. Yeah, somebody's being exposed for something. Ooh, somebody's exposing their bits, too. Damn, Libra. Okay. You could have, like, I don't know, somebody sending you inappropriate pictures or, you know, you get in your DMs and randoms or sending stuff. Just be mindful. Be mindful who sees your stuff. Tell me more about this. weird another thing this is going to be very specific to some leapers out there very specific um somebody it looks like in the workplace um could have done something inappropriate sexually and that that's something you're going to hear about hopefully you're not a part of <laughs> like showing the boss your junk you know like that kind of thing uh why do people watch me um Yeah, I mean, it looks like somebody could literally lose a job over it or lose a client or, yeah, yeah. I want to know if this is true, guys. Tell me. I want to know this story. I feel like this is good. This is some crazy tea right here for Libra. Could be a, could be a fire sign. Why is judgment here for Libra? Libra, looks like you're... You could be on some sort of spiritual journey soon as well. Um, it looks a little bit hectic, but it's like something you feel like you need. Okay, and with judgment here, I also feel like you have to um, potentially move in the future as well. Why is the High Priestess here for Libra? Oh shit, you've met your match, Libra. You have met your match. You guys would be spiritually connected. Um, you'd be able to like finish each other's sentences. You would be able to um, like sense each other. I don't know if you guys believe in that type of stuff. I have experienced it with somebody before. I'm telling you, like, it is very, very real. Um, this is this is going to be a pretty profound relationship here. Now, it looks romantic. It doesn't have to be. This could literally just be some sort of partnership with somebody where you guys, you know, are just like each other's sidekicks forever, you know. looks really, really good. It has a long-term sort of energy to it. I have Pisces, I have Taurus. I just feel like it could be any sign. It's just more of the fact that the connection would be so strong. You will not, it'll be undeniable, okay? Some of you might even be feeling that person's energy if, especially if you are a spiritual person um, already. Like you haven't met them, but you're feeling something come in or you're feeling the energy. Um, I typically always know before I meet somebody that I'm gonna meet somebody. Like it just, they, they, their energy just starts popping up while I'm meditating or you know, things of that nature. So you guys might be going through that as well. I'm seeing uh, Louisiana saying to have strength. This is going to be a very, very, very profound situation here. Okay, huge. 
huge Libra. So, okay, why is the moon here for Libra? You guys could even like potentially work on things together financially. So whether that's, um, this is a business connection and you guys just make a lot of money or this is a, it looks like a romance, guys, take it as it resonates, okay? It's not going to be for everybody that where you guys actually could dream up something amazing and make a lot of money off of it, okay? <clears throat> Why are you spending time alone over here? Could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, you could have some sort of um, past issue pop back up, which is going to make you go hermit mode. It's sort of like, um, you know, you thought that was done and buried and over with and like somebody's going to bring back up and you're going to be like, are you freaking kidding? Like, like, why are we doing this all over again? I thought we were past this. I thought we were over this. Looks family related, but doesn't have to be for Libra. Ten of Cups, Libra. This is a good reading. This is a really nice reading for you. Why is the Ten of Cups here? We have ten, ten. <sighs> Libra, like I said, if this is a connection with somebody new, it's going to be an intense connection. Okay, there's going to be painful days, too. You know, like any connection but it's gonna be it's gonna be something why is the ace of swords here be careful of somebody toxic coming back into your life and trying to ruin ruin things for you okay whether that's ruining your new business venture or ruining a relationship especially those people that talk about you and it's not real like those people that try to make other people dislike you that sort of thing okay yeah yeah it's gonna give you some anxiety looks like a fire sign still Ooh, I don't like it every card saying it's gonna bring you a lot of distress it's like a group of people talking why is the three of cups here though there will be a celebration around income you could be getting a pay raise or a new job there is like like I said if you go into any sort of business partnership right now and start something there's going to be a celebration about money especially the kind of money that you're like oh my gosh like I can pay off all my debt it looks Libra this is a good reading this is really good um, not like the other air signs so I'm happy for you why is the Two of Cups here? You're leaving somebody behind and you do not want to reconcile with them. Okay. Again, doesn't have to be romantic. Um, they're, they want to reconcile and you're going to be turning them down. This is somebody who had a third party situation. A lot of secrets. A lot of secrets with this person. Okay. This person may have even, like, taken money from you at some point. Because I see finances involved as well. Um, let's, let's ask a few more questions and then end it. Anything else Libra needs to know right now? Libra, if you are worried about your finances and finding stability, I'm telling you, it is coming. I, I really think that, I say this probably every week and you guys hate me now, but like, I really think that your financial stability is on this way. I really do. Anything else so I can end it here for Libra? You're getting involved. You are getting involved with somebody. And look, there's that fire sign wants to create problems. All right, so again, 
I really feel like you are meeting your match. If you are happily married, I'm not telling you to go out there and meet somebody else. <laughs> like this could be a business partnership. But for those of you that are single, I see somebody coming in. It's going to be a very big situation for you. Just watch out for someone else trying to ruin it. Okay. I don't care what kind of partnership it is. There's somebody here that does not want to see that happen for you. Okay, Libra, um, all in all, this was a really good read. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will get some bonuses up later.